Okay then, so to get started, first off, please make sure you sign up to your account, otherwise it will prompt you at some point in this video when you're going through, but you need to sign up. So first off, I'm going to create a board and I'm going to call it, give it a name and I'm going to press create. This is just a blank board and this is all we need to do for now. Next up, we're going to press power ups at the top and we're going to press add power ups. And now here we're going to tap in crumble and here we can see add crumble. I'm going to press add and add again. I mean, if we just wait a second, it's going to work its magic. It's adding this now to my Trello board. And here we can see it's all added in here. So next up, I'm going to press settings or it may redirect you there automatically. So now if I press settings, I can press edit power up settings. It's having a think. It's having a long hard thing. So I'm just going to press cross and press edit settings again. So if you get back to that, just cross it and press edit settings and it will come up again for you and then it will work. So now, of course, what we can do is oh, I've just got on press cross after it loaded. Here we go. It's on here. We pick the crumble team we wanted to sign to, which you would have created when you signed up for your account. And then I'm just going to press add. And then what's that's going to do, it's just going to work its magic and add it on. Now, just to, just in case you get a different screen, if you get a screen that's asking you to authorise Crumble with your Trello account, just go through, scroll down, press authorise, and that's all you need to do. So now that we've got this set up, we can see everything says 0000, zero, zero, zero and we've got some setup that we want to do. Now, the first thing that we want to do is decide on what our pipeline is going to be. So by pipeline, if you look now, it's automatically created a few things. It's created us an inbox, ongoing, and then done. So you can structure this however you want to structure it, okay? So like on mine, I structured mine slightly different, and I had something where I had new leads, cold, onboarding, and things like that. So you'll decide on what works for you. So let's just say, in this example, it could be, you know, I'm going to actually put in, rename the inbox to new leads. So this is people who are brand new and they've come into my world and we're just talking, I need to get rid of this card. So I'm going to right click it and press OK. It's just people brand new to my world, basically, OK? And then what we've got here is the next stage. So the next stage is I don't want it to be ongoing. I might want it to be discussing so that means we're having some back-to-back -back chat to kind of discuss the requirements of my the client basically and i'm just going to right click on that and press archive because i just don't want none of that on there and then it don't i don't want it to go straight to done the next step for me is getting them on a phone call so i can press add another list and i'm going to put book a call so i'm just going to get a call emoji and there we go and put I like emoji. You don't have to, by the way. And I'm going to put book a call. Oops, there we go. I'm going to put that there. And then after that, it's going to be that I have to give them a quotation. So I'm going to get this here. And I'm going to have the, let's see what comes up. Um, I'm going to have the money icon. And then I'm going to put quotation. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is have... A done column and I might choose to have an onboarding column so I'm actually going to choose to have as well this is what I like to do so that I've not just got like one big list of done I like to have a list that says one so I'll use the tick and put one and I like to have a list that I put in here saying lost okay and then on oh there we go and then on here bit here that says done this it could be the bit is current client you know so that i know that i'm currently kind of working with them kind of thing if i wanted to put that in there or i might want to just remove that and have one lost you know or just have the done column it's totally optional none of these have to be and the flow could be different for different people but that's the first thing we want to set up we want to set up the structure and then what we need to do then is come into crumble in here and set up where if we want these lists to appear in the funnel so if i press crumble and then I go to settings on the left hand side, we can see crumble this here. So basically this here where it's going to show me which where people are, I need to say, right, what do I want to actually appear in this funnel? So I want book a call in, so I'm going to turn that on. 
I want the quotation to show. So if you can see now, this funnel, we've got new leads, discussing, current leads, quotation, book a call. But And then I want to change the order. So actually, book a call is before quotation. And a current client is going to be down here. And then we're going to have one and then lost. But you might choose that you don't want something showing up in this funnel. So for instance, I have one which tells me the people who I need to invoice. I don't want my IP in my funnel. But also from reports, if you wanted something excluded from reports, if you didn't want to have anyone in the lost column on your reports, you can just untick that and they'll no longer appear in the reports. Okay. And then what you can do is choose by default, new people that get added to here, where will they go? And this is all to do with the automation side of things that you can do. So we're going to leave that as new leads. And that's all we're going to do so far. And next up, what we'll do is set up our custom fields and then we'll start setting up more things.